All right, well, a local couple is remembering their very special wedding ceremony. They tied the knot on a CBS show back in the 50s. Cody Stark with their unique nuptials and why the wedding almost didn't happen. You know that couple you see at the mall and they've been together forever, but they're still holding hands? Well, this is that couple. People stop us all the time. They think it's so cute. They were married on a CBS show 63 years ago called Bride and Groom, hosted by a fellow named John Nelson. Theirs is a romance as delightful as a fairy tale. And after we've heard them tell their story, we'll be guests at their wedding. And I don't want you to remind, be reminded of the fact that all this is brought to you by my good friends, the makers of these wonderful Hudson paper napkins. But the reason we uh, got on the show is they asked us to write a love story, how you met. And how they met was quite a tale. They were introduced by one of his army buddies, which was one of her relatives. But they had actually met years before when they were kids, something they figured out on their first date. We compared notes, and uh, we were found out that we both went to the same dancing school. You mean you and Sam were friends as children and you'd forgotten about it? Well, I knew him, but he didn't know me. The thing is, the perfect couple with the perfect story on the wedding show almost didn't happen, and not because they got cold feet, but because they were Jewish. The producers called him at the last minute to tell him. They, that's when they said uh, the Jewish people couldn't be, wouldn't be allowed on that. Uh, my rabbi pushed for it and got us on the program. Do you After the controversy was cleared up, they had a lovely TV wedding, a rabbi, a hoppa, of course a smooch, and don't forget those lovely parting gifts like a TV and some luggage. We still have a couple of the gifts that we got 60 years ago. <laughs> the key to such a long and loving relationship can probably be found between Natalie then and now. Whatever Sam wants is what I want most. I'm willing to do anything he wants always. To just agree. Don't argue, just say yes, and then do what you want anyhow. This is the CBS Television Network. A happy wife makes a happy wow. life, and he's learned that for more than 60 years. So it's working for you too, right? That's right, 35. Wow. Got a little bit more to go. Congrats. Hey, listen, straight ahead.